Hello there friends and welcome back to our little house on the mountain. If you are a returning subscriber, I wanted to say thank you so much for coming back again. And if you are new here, I would love to have you stick around and subscribe so that we can visit again. I did have a bunch of people ask me about my natural skincare routine video. I had a lot of issues with that video, so I took it down, but I'm going to be redoing it. And based on the comments that you left in that video, I'm going to be doing it more in the format of a whole week of the natural skincare. So that way you'll be able to see a lot of these DIY things that we've been talking about, like the face oil, the body oil, this cleanser that we're doing today, how I use that in real time throughout the week. So that is coming. But today we are going to be making a DIY at home natural radiance face cleanser. I think you guys are really gonna like this one. And a lot of the same concepts are going to apply from the hair care video, the things that we talked about, the skincare video, the things that we talked about, the oils videos. And that is that when you are switching from a more chemical skincare routine over to a more natural one, your skin goes through a transitional process, just like how I was talking about how the scalp and the hair will go through a transitional process. And when that happens, you might notice a little bit more oil, a little bit more dryness as the skin is trying to figure things out. Because when we're used to using a lot of chemicals on our skin or our scalp or our hair, things that are more harsh or abrasive and have those detergents in them, the skin or the scalp is going to naturally desire to produce more oils. So when we stop using those things, it just takes a little bit of time for the skin to figure out what it needs to do. But in my experience, the end result is so worth it. So if you can hang in there through that transitional time, which is different for everybody. Some people, it's just a few days. Some people, it's a couple of weeks. Or if it's an extreme situation, it can take a couple of months. But the end result is so worth it. When I stopped using foundation and left the modeling industry where you are constantly having chemical things put on your skin and then scrubbed off very aggressively. I did a lot of runway in New York and when you're doing run runway shows and you're going in between jobs, they're caking things on your face and hair and then <laughs> scrubbing them off very aggressively. And that took a huge toll on my skin on top of the chemicals that I was using in my personal life, as well as diet issues. And so my skin started aging very rapidly about 10 years ago. And I noticed deep lines here and here and dry patches. And my skin now, fast forward 10 years later, um, is in way better condition than it was 10 years ago. So that is definitely a testimony to switching to a more natural routine. So getting into this, this is what you're going to need to make your own radiance face cleanser. You will need some sort of a bottle that is eight ounces or larger for this particular recipe. I just got this off of Amazon. I can list a couple that I found that I think are pretty for you guys uh, in the description box below. I have my link to my Amazon storefront where I put a lot of my favorites. So this will be there as well as a few others. I like using a pump bottle. You can use any kind you want. I just find this easier cleaner, pump it into my hand and put it on my face. So you're going to need the bottle. You are going to need three tablespoons of water, preferably a distilled water, filtered water. This is well water. The only water that I would recommend staying away from if you're able to is just your city tap water. It has a lot of harsh chemicals in it. It also tends to be a breeding ground for bacteria. So your cleanser may not last as long if you use tap water. You will need a third of a cup of Castile soap. I really like this peppermint one and I like how the smell of the peppermint wakes my skin up, but you can just get one that is unscented. You can get the baby formula, which is really gentle for sensitive skin. And if you have skin that's prone to oil and breakouts, you can get one that has tea tree oil in it. I do like this brand Dr. Woods and I will have this linked as well. I just keep these big bottles around cause I use them for a lot of different stuff. If you have very, very dry skin and you're concerned about the Castile soap drying your skin out, you can cut the amount of Castile soap in half and add aloe as the other half instead. The next thing you will need is a third of a cup of raw honey. Raw honey is antibacterial, antifungal. It 
gives the skin a glow and when it's mixed into all of the other ingredients it's not going to be sticky. Ideally you would use raw honey because that's what has all those really good properties in it. And I just noticed this one by Nature Nate's Honey Co. Thy word is sweeter than honey, Psalm 119, 103. So if you want honey with the word, Nate's Honey Co. I hadn't seen that before, that's pretty cool. So third a cup of Castile soap, third a cup of honey, and then you're gonna need two tablespoons of a nourishing oil of your choice. We've talked about oils a lot on this channel. I have a blog post about face oils and what the different oils do for different skin types. I will also have a blog post for this skin cleansing recipe. So if you wanna look at that, if that's helpful to you to, to read through a blog to remember what you need to do, I will have the blog linked in the description box and pinned in the comments below. For this one, I'm going to use apricot oil. Apricot kernel oil is wonderful for anti-aging. I would probably recommend sticking to either jojoba oil, sweet almond oil, or apricot kernel oil. If you have extremely sensitive skin, you're really going through something with your skin, like eczema, mind you, a lot of that comes from the gut and liver health. But if you are going through that, I really recommend maybe before starting anything else, utilizing goat milk and tallow for the skin. The goat milk and tallow is extremely healing and I know a lot of people who have very sensitive skin have had really good experiences with goat's milk products. So that's just something to keep in mind. I do recommend as you start to fill your bottle to do the water first, that way you won't get too much sudsiness and it won't overflow. You can also at the end of this add some essential oils if you choose to. You could add a couple drops of tea tree oil. If you have um, acne prone skin, you could add a few drops of lavender oil if you want something soothing. The only essential oils I would not recommend are citrus oils because they can make the skin more photosensitive. So when you go out in the sun, it can be more sensitive to burning. So I would just avoid citrus oils. One of my favorite oils to always use in my skincare is frankincense, really good for the skin. Myrrh is really good. And I always like using a couple of drops of uh, vanilla in everything because I just like the smell so much. So I'm going to start, I have a funnel so that I don't spill. And I'm going to first add my three tablespoons of water that I filtered through my Berkey water filter. going to want to shake this until the honey is fully distributed through the cleanser and everything's mixed together. going to want to store your cleanser somewhere in your bathroom away from direct sunlight and if you store it in a nice dim spot where it's not too hot and it's not getting direct sun this should last you about a month and there you are homemade radiance face cleanser if you guys try this i would love to hear how this works for you and any of your updates on your 
natural hair care or your natural skincare routine or transition. And I wanted to thank you guys so much as always for coming back to our little house on the mountain, for using our links, for checking out our Amazon storefront and our website. And just remember that there will be a blog post for this cleanser over on the website. Thank you guys, we love you, and Lord willing, I will see all of you right here on the next one. Bye friends.